uh, during some sort of infection or you know some sort of internal decomposition process. Lots of open questions around that. Do you have the science chat open over there, or is that? Yeah. yeah I can post a link in there. That'd be awesome. Thank and you. And then you can find a link to the paper directly. Got it. Thank you. the paper. Not seeing a ton of rock still. It's pretty solid stuff. Not a not a lot of relief. Everything is pretty well cemented in. There might be some examples of rocks in the area. What what's the ship move status? We just kind of yeah, we're in the middle of a move, but we can come to a stop well, we whenever can, we need we, to. We can keep going with the move. Um, uh, yeah. How much longer do we have with the move? Fifty meters. Okay. Keep an eye out. Let's keep finishing the move. Uh, we're not too off, far off our target, so it's not a big deal at the moment. It is, yep. Yep. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was just, it wasn't bad. It was just something we want to take care of for sure. But. It's like some loose rocks here, maybe. Sure. <laughs> Maybe I should just put it back on the wrist, just, you know, challenge. <laughs> <laughs yeah, we just started out the bang. Okay, rock, rock hunting. Yeah, this is looking like better terrain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, you can definitely put the bubble on the wrist, but it doesn't look like there's anything to watch right now. And then we'll have the bubble on the wrist anyways when there's something to watch. Yep. Look at this giant rock. Oh, what's our size limitations right now? What do we got for... Uh, we we ha we don't have any fully open big boxes, so we kind of have to pick a a medium size rock. Medium, yeah, at least ten, fifteen centimeters, but no bigger than say twenty five. Are we going for thirty starboard or the little ones on the starboard side? Yeah, yeah, that would be preferable. We have one of those boxes full open, all the way in the back. Josh, do you want to get this one? Uh, if you want me to. Sure. I'm going to bring this ship yeah, to a stop. There's some good candidates right here. What do you think about that? Bridge, those? nav. We're still going to swing a bit further. Yeah, that's all right. If we swing, we can reevaluate. Okay, here we go. Quick here, I think. I think any of these are probably going to be your best bet. I like these two, the best of those situations. Oh, it's gonna go. See it. Nice one. Now that'll fit nicely in D on the starboard side. Data, what sample is this? This is sample number 42. Thank you. I feel that. Yeah, it looks great. I don't see any associates on it, just kind of lumpy rock. Oh, there might be something on it. A lot of mud, some iron oxidized patches. Looks good, though. Let's stow it. There's nothing in the starboard box we need to worry about, right? Floaty bits? Nothing. Okay. So the far one, far yep. little one? Far inside, yep. Making it, my Herc pilot's making it really hard on me by doing the, the smallest screen possible to use. <laughs> <laughs> Extra challenge. Um, <laughs> might go in there, it's a little hard to tell. Uh, can you just, yeah, switch it over so I can actually get a better chance of making sure I don't drop it in the wrong spot? Yeah. Dan could do that. There you go. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he could have, yeah. <laughs> uh, well no doubt. Played. <laughs> uh. Sorry, you guys are doing great. <laughs> Everyone's doing a great job. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to want a Niskin also. All right. We are getting a little far behind. 2192. That's our actual depth. Just switch over to the bottles. And, uh, 
Next Niskin is five. Five. Time to go. Great. That time we were only 16 meters off our target, so pretty good. A for effort. We had a lot to deal Under with. Under the circumstances, <laughs> I, I don't, I think that's pretty impressive. Yeah. Thanks, Josh. I needed sure. a tea break through all that excitement. Corals are getting bigger. It's a good sign. Maybe we'll see that magical mystery garden under the sea. This Can you get the ship summit. moving again? Yeah, go for it. Rage, Nat. We're ready to get underway. 100 meters, bearing 160. Thank you. I kind of feel like we've done an entire watch already. No. In the 42 minutes we've been Yeah, no. exactly. <laughs> I'm ready to hand it over. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, no, we've been here an hour and four minutes. Oh, guess it's time to do gauges. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes are so tired. I'm flipping numbers already. <laughs> That's when it starts to go. An hour and four. Mm -hmm. Can we look at the sea star <laughs> on the uh, lower right corner. Yeah, totally. I thought that was the base of a sponge. Yeah. I would I not have caught that. Nice. Um, this actually could be a collection target. Ooh. Okay, well, we're out in front here. Yep. And normally I would say slurp, but since slurp's out of commission, um, not th sure this how is actually a potential new genus of cookie star. A cookie Ooh. star? Oh my gosh. I wanted to get a better look at it before I, I mean, give it you could a firm. Bridge, Neff. Could, might idea. be able to run the slurp enough just to get enough a yeah. bit of suction to. Pick it up with that. I'll stop, please. I'm not sure how we'd get it with um, sort of balanced I'll stop. precariously here. I'm not sure how we'd get it without the slurp, honestly. Yeah. It's, um, I, I, I was see. actually looking through the kind of hit list of collections, and this one was on there. I'm hoping that it's that one. Thank you. Let me just have a look at what's going on with the slurp thing. Okay. a ravioli to me yeah it does it really does a cheese <laughs> ravioli i think it looks like a christmas cookie <laughs> it also looks like that a lot of holiday relevance already on this watch not not really
really feeling the the whole holiday vibes yeah oh, i don't know about Zoom? you all it's kind of being it, out here for a while okay definitely ravioli <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. It's so <laughs> Why do we not make five pointed raviolis? I don't know. They'd be so much cuter. <laughs> it kind of looks like a Pop Tart with five points. What do you think, Steve? Yeah, we're going to go for it. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, this is definitely that new, p potentially new genus. Yeah, maybe it's not running. Which would be a really cool. Oh, Let me see man. if I can snag this. Yeah, thing. do it. So had oh, someone spotted this before then, but we didn't collect it, or were? Yeah, th so this we have a guide that we use based on the capstone um, observations that have been made over the years, and uh, those observations are then reviewed by scientists ashore, and then they tell us, oh, that's you know odd, or that looks unusual, see if this will work. and that gives us uh, some collection targets, and so this one is still Can listed you go full as light, please? Gonia steridae new genus. Thanks. Now that could either be it means that it's in description or it could also mean that it has just not been collected yet. And I don't think it's been collected yet, otherwise um, probably would have been published by now since uh, a lot of these data were collected in 2017 or so. so you, you definitely have no full suction, right? It's totally... I don't if it even if it just come what we want is just a little bit of suction. Yeah. You can so put it in one of the forward boxes, yeah, either one. If we could get that, then we might be able to Yeah. Pink pink sea star. Okay, can we zoom in please? Let's try it a little bit. Oh, well, it might well, that's so small it might actually just I don't think we can get it with the... That would go right in there. Yeah. Maybe, w can you scoop it with the nozzle and just... Ooh, maybe. Dangerous. The one thing I could do is I could probably scoop it with a core tube and then drop Ooh. it in the box that way. I trust your... Uh, you can... Maybe it might take me a little bit if you want to watch That's me what? fumble and bumble around, but... Right, let's, go the let's go wide, please. I'd say that's probably the best shot. All right, let's go with that then. Because um, if I do it with just the, do it with just the fingers, I'd be. So um, I'm sort of balanced on my on the left corner of the porch, which is a little bit like this. So if you want to fumble around with a core tube, I'd like to just hop over a little bit. Sure. That's okay. Argus is going to come over the top, but I think we'll still be in a decent place to do this. We have, do we have, core? did somebody take a core? Yeah, we have uh, two cores that have been taken. So okay. you're going to want to pick from the aft three. Okay. You want sample? Sure. This will count as a, a, a grab, actually. Yeah, we're just using the core as a tool.
Ah, uh, the old core. Yeah, core tube with the, the old, coral uh, cutter. The coral cutter core tube is yeah, fun. Yeah, it's delightful. I've never seen Dan do this. Uh, ready for dive soon? Yep. <laughs> this is definitely a bit of a MacGyver maneuver. have to pick up a tiny, tiny sea star and all you have is a core tube. <laughs> Just pan over to the right, please. Zoom in, please. Zoom in. Oh my gosh, nice one. Wow. Wow. That's Beautiful. Awesome. <laughs> Where do you guys want this to go? It's got to go in the front. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, maybe the left-hand bin, port side, A. There's less stuff in it. Okay. Tool tray coming up. Maybe open it slowly just in case, because there's a couple of... Oh, I see a star. No, yeah, nothing. somebody's trying to escape <laughs> there. Yeah, I think that's a cry for help. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll bump out a little bit. Sure, a little bit more. I don't know how much more this we can do. Ship. Got quite the cabinet of curiosities in the board. <laughs> Just like one little <laughs> tentacle. Do you want a little more, Josh? Uh, I get the right angle to get it down. It's Beautiful. So, <laughs> oh, so there, Dan Carmony. <laughs> <laughs> Dan didn't get to do any uh, core tubes on the last cruise. He was super disappointed. Now I gotta actually put this core tube back. That's uh -huh. gonna be the challenge. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What's the, I gotta grab this thing again. Do I? Are we worried about that arm sticking out? Uh, it, I think it's okay. I, is there a way to fix that, actually? Uh, maybe, yeah. yeah. Just open the drawer a little bit. Probably got some stars in there. They're probably moving around a bit, so open it a bit more. Tucked back in, so it forms a good seal. I might have figured it after just with the, with the arm, yeah. maybe. That's okay. If, it, if it's too much of a problem, don't worry about it. Can you try that? Uh, yeah. Good enough for now. I'm sure we'll be opening up again the end of the dive. Speaking of which, do we have a, a, a recovery like or time off bottom that we're supposed to get? 
I think it said eight o'clock on this. Eight or, eight or twelve on the board, I believe. Yeah. Um, Salvo? Yeah, please. We're we're gonna aim uh, to well see how we get by the end of this watch, but I think uh, the aim was to be on deck um, maybe sometime after uh, after breakfast or so. Um, if folks wake up and they want us to stay down, or if we haven't gotten very far along the dive, we can reevaluate for closer to twelve. But just daylight hours, not during meal time, is kind of the information I'm going for, go, going with right now. Yeah, got a funky angle on this thing. Nice. We got a little fish friend. Oh, yeah. Hello. Okay. Gabby, could you tilt up a bit? Look at the sure fish. thing. Dive salvo. Do you need a, uh, I know, do you need full lighting? Very cool. Okay, good job team. That was awesome. We have a little ravioli star. <laughs> <laughs> Scooped with a core tube. <laughs> keep talking about putting a scoop on, but... Yeah, you got five of them. <laughs> never would have considered it. Um, shall we mosey science now? Mosey. Yeah. Everyone? Okay. Move underway That's again. Good. Can we truck forward all the way? Yeah, sure. Thanks for the reminder. Trucking. Bridge now. We are ready to get underway again. Can we move 100 meters bearing 160? We're starting to move into a new depth range for corals. Bathypathies and Aridogorgia. Still seeing some pleuro. Well, caught myself again. Romulogorgia, not pleurogorgia. It's tough. Tough when you're used to saying something for so many years and then next day it changes. Switched it on ya. Oh, not the great Aridicorgia. That was pretty, pretty close. Good. Pretty close. Not quite. That one's tough. You gotta be like under it. Yeah. Next time. Next one. I, I'm getting there. Each I think we'll better. see more. I think so too.
Oh yeah, what happened? Something there? swimming What's up that? there. What is that? Okay. I'll, I'll I'll play with that a little bit. It's definitely faster than I am. Hey, buddy. Is it a? Oh yeah, that's a. Swimming? It's a, a polynoid polychaete. It's a scale worm. Oh. Oh, oh. Yeah, you can scale wow. a little. Wow, that's pretty that's, creepy crawly. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Ooh. that's all I got. Oh, no, he's still there. Okay, <laughs> I can't get distracted. I'll you know end up off in La La Land. Do you know if that just came up or was that like that for a while? Just came up? Okay. Can you oh, write, like we skittered him? Can you write a note in the log that the still camera stopped stop stilling yeah we ran out of space oh, oh okay oh. <laughs> that's a good problem i guess it took too many photos yep all used 500 gigabytes Cookie star. That's so cute. I love that everybody names these critters after food. We just gotta rename it to the ravioli star. Yeah. But if it's a new one, maybe we can do I that. think we should just find right? a ravioli star, like another one. I don't know. I think the sea stars probably predate the food. So, well, oh, interesting. Uh, Three day cookies too, though. Which came, <laughs> which came first? <laughs> <laughs> we may never know. I'm pretty sure raviolis aren't 500 million years old, <laughs> but it's just a thought. Pretty sure I don't that know. not entirely. <laughs> sure. Listen, I feel like you're jumping to conclusions. <laughs> I, I, yeah. You have no evidence in the fossil record that they didn't. <laughs> They weren't fossilized raviolis. Well, they weren't, but they just look like, it's hard to they prove look a like negative. Raviolis. They were just <laughs> sea stars. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Are sea stars with their like current? sort of appearance morphology like 500 million years old um i was referring to kind of echinoderms more more broadly okay. but yeah there's there are definitely sea star lineages that old wow um but you know i i don't know i haven't read up on uh how the different how old the different lineages are i know for corals for sure there's some lineages that are 500 or 600 million years old Right. Plus or minus a few million years. I would believe that. But sea stars are all ancient, too. You can find them way back in the fossil record. I think things like crinoids might be a bit older. Sometimes they're called living fossils, the stocked kinds. something spiny under that rock uh where um the big rock just to the bottom right of the laser oh yeah yep big rock i wish i had the telestrator i know everyone should have one Especially video that does a lot of the noticing. Go for zoom. Oh, crinoid. 
Yeah. And uh, anyone? Something. Blob of something. Yeah. Not sure what that is. It might be an old base, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, something dead. Okay. Heteropathies. Oh, the black coral? Yeah, black coral. We can take a look. I'm sort of waiting a little bit. Oh, that's the sea star they collected, too. The one down on the red, uh, the red one. Oh, yeah. They collected one of those. That was the arm that we. Oh, gotcha. Okay, go for some. Back in. <laughs> the one little <laughs> tentacle just sticking oh, up. Oh, no. Actually, not, not heteropathies. This oh. actually might be a, a new genus we haven't seen on a dive so far called Trisopathies. Huh. You can go a little closer if you want. Yeah, very nice. We collected some Trisopathies in the last cruise. Uh, you can see... Oh, I think oh it looks like, like it right would be very here. floaty to collect. Yeah, right behind here there's actually a polychaete worm that lives commensally uh, on, oh, the, yeah, yeah. on the coral. Sneakily somewhere like, hidden from us. It's hiding. Yeah. I saw it a second ago. Oh, I wonder if they, they must have done the snip and slurp on this one. Yes, I think we did. It just looks like they would never go in a box ever. Go wide. The old snip and slurp maneuver. The old snip and slurp. <laughs> Can we take a look at this uh, red one? Yeah. Black coral as well? Totally. Not bathopathies. It looks different. I'm not sure. It look, does look a little different. It doesn't even look like a black coral at all. Actually, it might be something called uh, parentopathies, although there's, there's a couple of different morphologies that this could be. Go for zoom. Oh, it is a black coral. Yeah. Look at that. I think this might still be heteropathies. Good shot, though. We get a wider shot of the kind of or or pan yeah. up, tilt up. There's an associate at the top that okay. may be of interest. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I'm seeing things. I think I saw it. Was it like a sh uh, shrimp? I thought it was a crab or shrimp, yeah. My thrusters are probably knocking things off at this point. All I'm right. going to lift off. It's okay. There's current here. And, yeah. And uh, I often, I've been finding like that I'm running a lot of thrusters when I'm sitting down more than usual just to keep my heading proper. you have any sense of direction on the current? I think I'm headed straight into it right now, so it's probably coming from the south.
Um, I'll get ahead a little and drift. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> now you can't unhear it. <laughs> I'm good, thanks. They're macadamias. And I didn't say that on SPL. Do you hear me? Did you I got you. Yeah, I got your okay. channel in. Okay. Steve's keeping tabs on us all. <laughs> Always. <laughs> I feel like somebody has to. Yes. Oh, maybe we'll ask the Aridogorgia which direction the current is coming. Yeah, that's a that's a good. Good segue. Thanks for setting up that little tidbit of information. Aridogorgia says the current is coming from the southwest. Yep. And right up the strike of the slope. Yeah. No, we we haven't t talked about that on the dive at all, but a lot of these corals um, and some, some, some sponges will orient um, perpendicular the fan the fan shaped ones will orient perpendicular to the current to kind of maximize their particle capture abilities but uh, the aridogorgia since they're somewhat flexible will usually grow in the direction the current is flowing and uh, actually I'd love to see a hydrodynamic model of how water flows through an aridogorgia colony it would be so yeah, cool to see the turbulent amazing. eddies and things. Yeah, they must have a good reason for growing like that, and it would be really cool to see in action. Yeah. Could you keep one of these alive in a lab? Or is that, like, totally impossible? Um, so the, the challenge is bringing them up and then... You have to keep them cold, uh, and you have to keep them in a system that it has some sort of current. So either you know putting artificial current in there with a little propeller, um, and then you have to feed them fairly regularly. Uh, those are the challenges. The temperature is is a pretty easy challenge to overcome. You just have to keep it cold. But the colder the temperature, so what we're like super cold down here, like under two degrees C. That takes a lot more energy than uh, keeping something alive that's maybe from five or six hundred meters. Okay. Uh, so if, assuming you can keep them cold, assuming you can keep them uh, fed, and they have good current, uh, good flow, because uh, that's how they get rid of all their waste products and, and eat as well. Um, assuming you do all those things, you might be able to get it to last a few weeks. Okay. Uh, and then with the with the Corgonians, we have found in the ones that we've collected, uh, we rarely do the Chrysogorgids. We mostly do Plexorids. Uh, we maintain Plexorids, but typically we find that 
the polyps start to slough off after a while. Mm -hmm. um, there's just some there's some kind of variable we're not accounting for that isn't what they get in nature. Right. So, so you're saying you do that actually? You can actually keep them alive in the lab for a little while? Yeah, in my uh, lab where I did my dissertation work, we maintained deep water corals, usually from a thousand meters and shallower. Okay. Uh, pressure is not really the issue again, it's the temperature, getting the temperature right. Um, and then all those variables. We often made our own seawater um, using a, a kind of specialized mixture of salts and things. Uh, because the seawater down here is not the same as the seawater you see on the surface. So you make the seawater, you test for different nutrients to make sure that the water is not becoming toxic over time. Okay. Can we zoom, zoom on one of these fans? We have time. Oh, yeah. We definitely have time. Uh, yeah, you provide Go some for current for them and... Uh, Looks like some sort of primnoid fan here. Possibly the genus Norella, but it's oh, go a bit of a tough call. Just hit the rocks there, trying to come around. Okay, go for zoom. The best you can. If you have to move on, go. Um, I can give it another try. Are you interested in the? Uh... I think we'll see more of these. We've already seen a few colonies. Okay, I'm twisted. What? What's that? I was going to ask Steve if he was more interested in the branching or the polyps here. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's the polyps, really, for the primnoids. Okay. Not so much the branches. Roger. Cannot unhear that. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Go for Zoom. So it's gonna be a quick one, I think. There we go. Bathypathies on the bottom, and then uh, maybe a heteropathies on top. Cool. Both black corals. Great. Oh, and a spitodiadematid spit urchin in the back. <laughs> on the rock. Okay. Way in the back. Good. Oh, nice spot. Time to scramble here. Long spine deep sea sea urchin. It's a common name for those. We'll probably see more. We're starting to move into their depth range where they're more common. This is a pretty cool little set of features. This is looking a bit more rugose here, bouldery. Yeah. I wonder, do these boulders just set up complex flows that like make the corals happier? Like the turbulent flows will let things drop out, but uh, like everything looks just happier on these like very bouldery areas. Yeah, yeah, I I, I think that's a it's a pretty good assumption. Um, you know, the rock here is not likely to move over thousands of years. Um, so it's probably a pretty safe place for a coral to attach to and start growing. And then you have those current accelerated flows, like we mentioned. Um, 
kind of delivering more steady food uh, per unit time to a coral polyp. Yeah, we're starting to get in some pretty serious diversity here. We've got Norella, another species of Norella. Small Chrysogorgia bottle brushes. No precious corals yet, which is a little strange for this site. We expect to see them at this depth, starting about now, maybe a bit deeper and all the way up to the summits. Yesterday we saw a bunch of Paragorgia at this depth as well, not present here yet. Well, see, I think uh, 1800 is like the magical depth where we start seeing an explosion of diversity. Typically coincides with the summits of these seamounts too, so that would be interesting to know if we do see that. Oh, wow, there's, there's a so lot many of stuff yeah. here. Wow. Yeah. Okay, we can look at some of this. Anything particular you want to look at here? Um, yeah, actually, I do. Just circle stuff. I was stuff. curious about this uh, okay. Chrysogorgia. It's kind of split, branched, unusually. Go for zoom. Might just be a, a one of these bottle brushes that got damaged and split into two oh, forks, but typically you don't find these these ones branch all that much like that. Oh, really? It's kind of unusual. Oh, they usually just look like a just one solitary brush. Yeah. Sometimes they do these things if they're damaged or if they have some sort of irritant that causes a wound. Uh, they might grow in a different direction. All, all of these uh, Chrysogorgia on top of here, uh, they have squat lobster associates that live inside, sometimes shrimp, but usually squat lobsters that live inside. I think we've got at least two different species of Chrysogorgia here. This one is probably one, maybe a uh, Chrysias or Stellata, and then this one might be another uh, more sparse branching. Is that what makes you think they're different, the sparse branching? Yeah. The distinguishing? Yeah, one of them is, is more bottle brush-like, and the other one is more um, uh, either flabellate or biplanar, sometimes they're called. The density of polyps is also a giveaway. Okay, go for zoom. Oh, no, Which one? lost it. I'll try and do it floating. I'm freaking everybody out here. Okay, go for zoom. We'll look at this one on top here. We've got a little associate. Now you can see yeah, where the crabs are inside the colony. There's usually at least one, sometimes you can zoom two. Further. There you go. Oh. And there's the crab. And they usually always have one. Very rarely do they have none. Okay. Great. Thank you. Now we
How far are we off the summit right now? Not too far. Um, just shy of one kilometer. Oh, wow. Okay. Do you think well, that'll be kind of a stretch to get there by the end of four o'clock? What do you think? Uh, yes. I think when I handed over, it was about three and a half hours. Um, but then we had our little holiday, so, um, yeah. <laughs> I think we could. Well, holiday. Nice. Let's see. Go for Zoom. Pillar Terrace. Yep, for uh, Vermilia Gorgia, yep. A little crinoid on there. Okay, go in. Yeah, I was very curious to see the top, but I don't want to I don't want to rush it too much. Uh, there are two peaks here. So may maybe, depending on if, if we don't get to the summit on our watch, we may, we'll see, uh, maybe stay in a little bit later till 12, just so we can get, get a look at both of those summits. I think both of them are worth taking a peek at, but we'll consult the lead scientists and expedition yeah. leader after they all wake. Um, yeah, we're about at this speed three hours from the summit. Yeah. Yeah, so the I, first summit. I think, uh, yeah, I think the next watch will probably get the summit. But we'll, we'll do our darndest to try. On the high pack map, what is that gray area between us and the summit? This one right here? Yes. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's so we're using background data from a couple different sources. And you can kind of see how the contours get all weird over here mm -hmm. on the south side of the summit. That's where we have two bathymetry sources kind of meeting. And you can see they don't line up the best. Um, so maybe that shadows something there. Let's see. Oh, well, here's a bunch of stuff. Corals. Oh, yeah, what is... Uh, yeah, I think it just or an artifact one? in the um, RGB uh, image. Roger. It's another one of these Chrysogorgia colonies. I think the polyps are... Uh, Go for zoom. ...contracted. That's why it looks a little bit more... A little more... Oh, that is interesting. Yeah. What are you seeing? No, this this associate looks different from the other crabs that were in the other colony. Oh my gosh, it's the 